Please welcome Owen Wilson. Thank you. Hi, it's Owen. Nice to be here. It's good to how see are you. Th uh, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You are in my hometown in New Orleans right now. How are you liking it? I really like it. I did not know the city. I'd been here, you know, twice before, but just for sort of a day. And uh, this time I've been here a couple of weeks and I've kind of had a chance to explore and get to know it a little bit. But it's pretty, uh, you know, growing up in Dallas where, you know, something's a landmark if it was there in 1974. <laughs> uh, it's funny to come to a city like this that really does have history. Yeah, it's a special place. It's a great music town, too. I grew up, I'm so fortunate, I grew up with some amazing music. Yeah, I've had actually my friend, um, Daniel Lenoir, the music producer, worked with U2 and um, Bob Dylan, and he lived here for 15 years, and so he's been here while I've been, and we've been kind of walking around, but he did a great album with the Neville Brothers here in uh, Yellow Moon, and it's been great kind of hearing some, you know, sort of stories from him and going to see some music with him. Yeah, know the Neville Brothers well, and I love that album. Um, hey, listen, you're filming a movie about ghosts, and uh, there are plenty of ghosts in New Orleans if you do believe in ghosts, do you? I do believe in them. I mean, it, it's sort of, uh, you know, ghosts or spirits or angels, um, I feel like that there's, you know, th that there's definitely more going on than, than, uh, than meets the eye. And, uh, and then here in a city like this with ancient footprints everywhere, you kind of, it, it makes sense that we're filming, uh, this movie here. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting. I'll talk to you after you finish filming it, if, 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 it, if any ghosts visit you. Um, and you happen to be, I don't know if you noticed, because there's a football on my table, you're on our Super Bowl show. Um, who are you going to be rooting for this weekend? I don't know. I get, I, I sort of will decide kind of at the last minute. I, I'm kind of, I get very superstitious with, I look for signs about who to sort of pick in my uh, in my football pool, which is very competitive. And so the fact that Matthew Stafford, uh, the quarterback for the Rams, that he's from Dallas, I see sort of a connection there. But the fact that I'm here in Louisiana and Joe Burrows was the quarterback for LSU, I think there's something, you know, there's something to be, um, something for me to understand there. But also, sometimes I get the feeling that whoever I pick is going to lose. And that's a big responsibility because I don't want to uh, take on that burden. But I feel like if I pick the Rams, then that almost guarantees a since he wins. So um, I, I don't know. Who, who are you leaning towards? Well, of, of course I'm for the Rams. It's, it's L.A., you know? It's, 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 I got to be. Look. I'm, I'm happy that Cincinnati is in it because that's a big deal for them. They haven't been there in a long, long time, and I'm always for the underdog. But Stafford yeah. played, you know, for a team that didn't do well for a long, long time. He's doing great for the Rams, and uh, I think it's going to be an amazing game. I'm actually going to it. I'm so excited. The halftime show is going to be amazing. So I'm just excited, to, you know, about all of it. So, but I. But don't... you're right about um, that, that. It is nice to see Cincinnati there, and it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they did somehow pull off an upset. It would be a good story. But um, I, I think you're right in uh, in maybe leaning towards the Rams. Yeah, we have to lean to the. It's it's our home team, you know. I mean, that's that, and that the stadium is. It's our house. It's our house. You know. <laughs> Whose house? Our house. Um, hey, uh, Willie uh, Nelson said you and uh, Woody have lost so much money to him playing poker that he was able to remodel his house. Yeah, I think uh, Woody and I have probably contributed to maybe a, a, a small wing, uh, maybe, uh, you know, a couple bedrooms. But, you know, I've gotten so much from Willie's music over the years. Maybe this is a nice way for me to say thank you. Yeah. That's a great way to look at it. Hey, uh, we're, we have to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the movie. We'll be right back. We're back with Owen Wilson. And, uh, okay, let's talk about Marry Me. Uh, it is uh, Maluma and Jennifer Lopez and you, and there's some kind of love triangle. Something's happening. 
Yes, I play uh, Charlie, who's a math teacher, and uh, my friend, uh, played by Sarah Silverman, uh, she, she's a big fan of Cat Valdez, and so my kid and Sarah really want to go to this concert, and I go, and at the concert, where Maluma and J-Lo are going to get married, it's sort of revealed that he's been cheating on her. So all of a sudden, she's kind of on stage as that news breaks. And somehow, she sort of just points to me in the audience holding a sign that says, marry me, that, uh, you know, that Sarah just gave me, because that's their hit song. And she just points at me. And, you know, the next thing, I'm up on stage. And it, it sounds sort of like a crazy premise but um i think kind of in the moment you sort of buy it yeah okay <laughs> um you had no idea who maluma was right I didn't know. Um, I have um, my my neighbors in Santa Monica are from Colombia, and so they were very excited. He's from Colombia, and I guess there was a lot of coverage on the Bogota newspaper that they showed me that he was going to be in the movie. But um, yeah, he's a uh, he has a real following, and he was great to work with. Yeah, he's a very sweet guy. He's a I, I love that guy. Uh, the movie is very romantic. Um, do you consider yourself a romantic person? I consider myself pretty romantic. Um, you know, the, the movie comes out Valentine's Day, and it's funny, Luke, my brother, was asking me about the movie and when it comes out, and I said, Valentine's Day, and he said, oh, great, I'll be, able, I'll be done with uh, my work early March. He's in Atlanta. I'll be able to go to the premiere with you. And I said, well, it, it's Valentine's Day. It's February 14th. And uh, Luke said, well, that's why I'm single. <laughs> um, so um, I, I'm more romantic in the sense that at least I knew when Valentine's Day was. OK, well, that doesn't make you romantic that you know when Valentine's Day is. <laughs> that's not does not actually mean romance. It just means that it's been publicized enough that you know the date. Yes, exactly. Well, um, yes. I don't know. I mean, I think that I'm, you know, I, I think I'm somewhat romantic. I think I definitely appreciate a romantic story. I know that uh, my mom, um, you know, recently got married at age 80 and uh, to a very nice guy. And, um, I think that's a very uh, romantic story, and the idea that you can sort of find love, um, you know, at any age. So uh, yeah. that gives me, uh, I, I think that's a very um, nice story. I think that's a nice story, too. I think that's sweet. Well, well uh, send my best to your mom and, and her new husband. Marry Me is in theaters and streaming on Peacock now, and uh, we'll be back. Thanks, Owen.